the artist colony with a very talented glass blowing artist, Sheva Chaya. Hello and uh, welcome. welcome. It's nice to meet you. Shalom, nice to meet you too. Shalom, shalom. So from Denver, Colorado to the, the hills of Sfat, Israel, how did your journey get you to this very special spot known for very talented artists? Uh, it's quite a journey. I found my way here um, just visiting the first couple of times visiting and found my way back here and one time said to myself, I have to think about living here. It's such a special place. It just felt so, I don't know, pure and, and inspiring, really. Explain um, your process. I mean, was this something that you developed before you made Aliyah to Israel or is this something that you found upon living here? Uh, well, I got into art before I came to Israel, but pretty much on my way, I got into painting, painting with oils, I switched to watercolors, and the glass blowing I really started just when I came to Tzfat about 15 years ago. And I just loved it the first time I tried it. And I was just so intrigued by the glowing glass, the flowing glass, that you could do anything with glass. I never really thought of that before. And then I realized there's a real connection to Tzfat. Tzfat's a city of air, a holy city. You actually blow the glass. Um, there's a great flow here, so it all really started to flow together. Any any uh, work hazards when you're when you're dealing with fire? I mean, are you uh, do you have? Like, yeah. Um, you know, everything's calluses. good. You, you have to be careful. There's, you know, there's the rules and you have to follow them. It's pretty serious consequences if you don't. But uh, you learn. And then from the beginning, I really thought, you know, I'll train myself to be careful so that I can flow with it as much as possible and not worry. And I'm at a point now, you know, it's, I've been into it long enough. There's a certain amount of just, it's kind of become my nature to be careful. So mm -hmm. I can kind of focus more on what I'm doing. Right, amazing. And are you, are you creating every day? I try to, except for Shabbos. Yeah, try wow. to every day. Amazing. So there are yeah. other days that you just have like, you know what, I just need to chill out and just sit in bed and watch TV today or anything. Um, Really, like That's every not day really my feel... style. I try, <laughs> I try every day to do at least something. There's mm -hmm. days that I'm less motivated. There's days that I get into a flow and time goes by and I spend a big chunk of time working. And there's days that I have to get myself up to do anything, but I try to still do something yeah. every day.